Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, A, B is uh, 3 cm, whereas uh, the side lengths uh, A, D and uh, C, D are uh, equal in length. And moreover, the area of this uh, quadrilateral has been given to us as 4 cm square. And now our task is to calculate the perimeter of this uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are uh, going to calculate the perimeter of this uh, given quadrilateral. And we know the perimeter is simply the sum of uh, all uh, these uh, four side lengths and the only known side length uh, is uh, this AB side. So therefore we are going to find out the side length uh, of this uh, side, this side uh, and this side uh, before we could calculate the perimeter. And now I am going to label uh, this side uh, as uh, lowercase a. Then this side length is going to be lowercase a as well. And I'm going to label this uh, BC side length uh, as uh, lowercase uh, x. And now our task is uh, to find the value of x, uh, the value of lowercase uh, a as well. And in this uh, next step, I have uh, connected these vertices a and uh, c. And as a result, we are ended up with these uh, two right triangle. This is one right triangle and this is uh, another right triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and the area of this uh, other triangle uh, CDA is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole uh, quadrilateral ABCD. And we have been given the area of the quadrilateral as four centimeter square. So therefore, we can write uh, the triangle ABC area plus the triangle CDA area is going to be 4. And now our task is uh, to find the area of triangle uh, ABC and the area of the triangle uh, CDA as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, a, c is the hypotenuse, whereas uh, these uh, 3 and x are our two other legs. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, x square plus uh, 3 square is going to be equal to our side length uh, a, c square. And now I'm going to undo square on both uh, sides by taking the square root. So therefore uh, our uh, AC side length turns out to be square root of uh, x square uh, plus uh, 9. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, CDA. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, lowercase a and lowercase a are uh, our two legs, whereas ac is the hypotenuse. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, a square plus uh, a square is going to be equal to our side length uh, ac square. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our uh, AC side length is going to be A times the uh, square root of 2. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. So thus we are ended up with these uh, equations, equation 1 and equation 2. And now we are going to compare uh, these two equations. And we can see our left hand sides are uh, identical. So therefore we can uh, equate the right hand sides as well. So therefore I can write uh, a times uh, square root of 2 is going to be equal to square root of uh, x uh, square plus uh, 9. 
and now we are going to divide both sides by square root of 2 to isolate a so this square root of 2 and square root of 2 is gone so therefore our lower case uh, a turns out to be equal to square root of uh, x square plus 9 divided by square root of uh, 2 so thus we can see our this uh, side length uh, ad turns out to be square root of x square plus 9 divided by square root of uh, 2 and likewise uh, this other side length uh, cd is uh, same and here's our next step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times uh, the base times the height and in our case uh, the base of this triangle is 3 whereas the height is lowercase x so therefore uh, the area of this triangle abc is going to be a half times uh, 3 times uh, x so that could be written as uh, 3x uh, divided by 2 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, other right triangle uh, cda as well and once again we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula and in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, square root of x square uh, plus 9 divided by square root of 2 and the height uh, of this triangle is uh, square root of x square plus 9 divided by square root of 2 as well so therefore the area of this triangle uh, cda is going to be a half times uh, square root of uh, x square plus 9 divided by square root of 2 and likewise times square root of x square plus 9 divided by square root of 2 as well and now let's make an observation if we multiply these numerators that is simply is going to give us x square plus 9 and likewise if we multiply these uh, two denominators that is going to give us simply two so therefore uh, if we simplify and multiply that is going to give us uh, x square plus 9 divided by 4 and now let's recall this equation once again the triangle abc area plus uh, the triangle cd area is going to be equal to 4 and the area of the triangle uh, ABC is 3x divided by 2. And the area of the triangle uh, CDA is uh, x squared plus 9 divided by 4. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We can write uh, 3x uh, divided by 2 plus uh, x squared plus 9 uh, divided by 4 equals to 4. And in this uh, next uh, step, I have uh, tweaked this uh, first on 3x uh, divided by 2 could be written as 6x uh, divided by 4 and likewise on the right hand side 4 could be written as 16 divided by 4 and here we got the common uh, denominator as 4 and now we can cancel out uh, these uh, denominators so therefore we can write uh, 6x uh, plus uh, x square uh, plus 9 equal to 16 let's uh, subtract 16 from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore on the left hand side uh, we are ended up with uh, x square plus 6x minus 7 turns out to be equal to 0 so thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic uh, equation and we are going to solve it by factoring so the possible factors of this quadratic equation is uh, x uh, minus 1 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 7 is going to be equal to 0 let's uh, split them I can write x minus 1 equal to 0 and the other one uh, x uh, plus 7 equal to 0 so therefore our x turns out to be equal to either 1 or x value turns out to be equal to negative 7 and now we can see that this uh, negative value of x is not possible since we are dealing with x uh, as the side length so therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value of x and we are going to accept x equals to positive 1 so thus our this uh, x value turns out to be positive 1 
and now we are going to calculate uh, these uh, side lengths uh, by substituting uh, x value as 1 over here uh, x square so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, x uh, as 1 over here so that is going to give us a equal to square root of uh, 1 square plus 9 divided by square root of 2 that is going to give us uh, square root of 10 divided by square root of 2 that is same as writing square root of 10 divided by 2 which is same as square root of 5 so thus our a value turns out to be square root of 5 centimeter and here is our final step now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this quadrilateral so therefore we are going to add all these uh, side lengths uh, 3 plus 1 plus square root of 5 and likewise square root of 5 as well so therefore uh, the perimeter of this uh, quadrilateral is going to be 3 plus uh, 1 plus square root of 5 and plus uh, square root of 5 uh, once again and if we combine these like terms that is going to give us uh, 4 plus 2 times square root of 5 centimeter so thus the perimeter of this quadrilateral turns out to be 4 plus 2 times square root of 5 centimeter that is going to be approximately equal to 8.472 centimeter as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye